What's going on YouTube? Alex here. I'm here with Mr. Ronnie. How y'all doing? Ronnie is our dice setting coach here at Casino Quest. Ronnie, thank you so much, sir, for teaching me. I appreciate it. My pleasure. You helped me a little bit with the Strat, us playing at the Strat Hotel and Casino, throwing the dice a little bit. Now, Mr. Ronnie here, uh, can you give us a little bit about your background? Sure. I've been throwing dice for about 12 years, and uh, I got interested because I saw the History Channel um, the Dice Dominator, and I kind of self-taught myself. I bought a throwing station, I bought dice, I bought chips, I bought everything, and then a couple years later, I signed up for class, and four years later, I became an instructor, and uh, there's some great people that I learned all this, everything I'm going to show Alex. Very good. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to work with you guys. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, one thing I'll tell you guys for me is one of the reasons why when we first met Ronnie, we really like Ronnie because, number one, he's not a snake oil salesman. <laughs> Whenever we talk to a lot of these uh, people, not just for me in general, like Ronnie's very uh, genuine, and uh, I don't feel like I just bought a used Toyota Camry. Your thoughts, sir? No, uh, I don't own a Camry. Okay, perfect. But I All do right. own a Toyota. So. All right, now let's get straight into it, sir. All right, All right, so how are you gonna teach me how to dice set? Now, you showed me the yo, correct? Yeah, but there... what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just, I just wanna see what, you, what your throw looks like from this position, and I'm gonna stand on the other side. Okay. And then uh, I'll throw, watch you throw a couple of times. So now Ronnie's taught me how to do a yo, five, five and six, and that's, then a six and three That's under. from the end. From the end? Okay, now Over what about here, this position? I use a hard way set. Hard way set? Should I do the flying V? You can do a flying V or, or the hard six. That's, that's, okay. I would turn it over. On the bottom, which way? Uh, you have five one. Five no, one? No, the other way. That, that one. There, okay, that's, there we go. Because you have uh, yep. eight on one side. Yep. There that's you go. It, five and one, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it this way, right? And I'm going to just toss it forward. Just show me what you got, and then okay. we'll go from there. So I, I... Okay. Six easy. Okay. So same thing. We're going to do a flying V. Now, from your experience, when you teach these courses or you teach, like, noobs like me, what is it? Is there anything specific that you try to teach them like right off the get go? What's the biggest mistake that a lot of dice setters do? They rotate the dice too much? Or? They, they do a lot, a number of things. Number one, their grip's not good. Um, their, their takeaway is not mm -hmm. good. Their balance, the way they approach the table. Okay. I look for their shoulders to be square. Okay. And to get up on their toes so they can be over the dice. So their, okay. their eyes the are toes. literally okay, over. Okay, that makes sense. Now, now, does alcohol play a role? Um, only if you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So, so real professionals, they don't drink. Well, not the ones I know. There we go. That makes sense. Oof. Okay. I felt that one seven out. We'll do one more. Okay. Okay. Let's do a three right here. Three right here. All right. Go one more time. Well, that was a nice toss. Two, two, two. Okay. Um, all right. All right. Let me come over on the other side and and I'll try to demonstrate. Okay. Fantastic. Now, if you guys are interested, Ronnie does have appointments here at Casino Quest. He's available pretty much any time, really, normal hours. So ideally, you, you come up to the table. Okay. You know, you lean into I, as far as you can. Mm -hmm. I get on my toes. Okay. I set the dice, I'm using a hard way set, okay? <clears throat> I tap my fingers so that they're, they're straight across. Okay. And then I grip them a little on the high side and then I turn them over like this so that you have flat down here, flat, flat down. back, and okay. flat facing the, All right. your, your target. And I just take a little pendle on the swing with a little tempo and come back and through. Wow, okay. That was a good seven. There you go. And then <clears throat> let's get another pair. Here, I'll grab it for you. <clears throat> now, do you change on the come out? Do you might change different you know, sets? I, I stick with the set I started with. Yeah, okay. You know, that's me. So you do the <clears throat> hard 10. So yeah. I do a hard 10 facing me, and the fours are up, and I take it back and through. Hard four, there yeah. you go. And that's what I do. Now, if I run across a person who has trouble with the grip, mm -hmm. uh-oh, oh, I'm hanging. Is that you? I got it. Go. I use this little 
device that I make. Okay. It's a gripper. It's got a mirror on it. And okay. <clears throat> uh, I'll put the, t the sixes facing the mirror and the ones behind me, five straight up. And then I, I come out here and I put my finger straight across and then I look at it and I pick it up. I make, I make the new guys do yeah. this several times. Just pick it up, put it back, pick it up, look at the dice, look in here, see they're not split. Yep. Make sure that everything's tight. And then we do this thing and I make it just without throwing the dice and go on the motion where my fingers are facing down. See that? Yep. So you want to go back, but let's just start all over. We're here. Look at your target, then swing back and through, and I okay. make them hold that position. Okay. <clears throat> and it's a good thing to just practice that without throwing the dice. So there's a lot of things you can do without throwing the dice to get that grip down. So now I put them back here. I'll do a little hard way set. And making sure that the dice are right in the center of your okay. middle finger to keep them from splitting. Yep. So we go like this, back and through. That was a little runaway, but it was, okay. you know. It's good, six, easy. <clears throat> One more time, and then you can do it. and through. That was a good one. Eight easy. See how it just hit and yep. stopped. It wasn't rolling around too much. Right. Okay. All right, so try it with the gripper. Okay. And I'll go on the other side. All right. And you can use this pass line as a guide to go back and through. Okay. That's like the line that you follow. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> now, the class you teach at Casino Quest, it's one hour. Yes. Right? But I've seen a couple people go a little bit longer sometimes. It depends um, if they need a lot of uh, instruction. Depends if how shit. If they're really having some problems, you know, I'll spend. Depends how shit their throw is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, so I just I just want to make sure that they feel comfortable leaving here. You know. There you go. There you go. That was nice. Hard ten, ladies' best friend. Fantastic. You know, it's pretty cool because I see like some of the Craps Nation guys. What's going on, Craps Nation? Hey. Yeah, some of the Craps Nation guys, they do the fantasy craps. So I see them practicing a lot. But, so. you know, if you practice the grip a lot, because that's, that's the basis of a good throw. Yep. You know. And just to let you guys know, in the casino too, dice setting is not a problem, at least in Las Vegas. The problem is, is when you see these players that do like the two-minute wind-up. Yeah, you know, like that, that, that kind of interrupts everybody. Yeah. Another one? Oh. oh, man. All right. Now, what I'm seeing here from here is your index finger uh -huh. is on the side. It's okay. not, it's not. So I'll just even just holding it this way. So like this way. There you so go. Over here, here. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you can do that if you want to, so that <clears throat> if you feel that the dice are split, okay. you can, you can put your outside fingers here so that you squeeze in the dice together and then come out here. Okay, very See good. See where my fingers yep. are? You go from here to there. Okay, so I'll put it right here. There you go. That one felt good. There you go. All right. Take a little backswing, about two inches. Two inches? Yeah, okay. you just want to get developed. This reminds me of golf. You know what it is? Because like golf, when I go golfing, <laughs> the problem is, is like I try to finesse it too much or like just, you know, like instead of like actually thinking about the wind up and the setup. Oh, I can. Just two more inches, Alex. Yep. That, oh, man. I don't know if I could do it. There you go. Look at the target. Look at there you go. Oh. That felt good, though. It really Take did the back good. swing because you're not taking it back. Just take it okay. back two inches. And then so, sometimes. So you're talking about like this way? No. Set it here. Uh huh. And then come back and through. Oh, okay. You want to there you go. Okay, just like I gotcha. that. So if you can just take okay. it back as far as the chip goes, and then All there right. you go. Oof. It's okay. Short. Come out wrong. Okay. You can Remember, this is practice. Yep. And now I'm just thinking about how much money I would have lost if I would have played at the Strat. So. <laughs> okay. Actually, you had a pretty good run in the last. There you go. There we go. Now, another thing. 
for me, it's a little too high. Mm -hmm. Keep your eye, focus on looking at this right here. Okay. This spot right here. Okay. Even though you want the dice to land right here. Okay. Is that, you're gonna have, there you go. Oh, that one's good. That one felt good, hard eight. Okay. And you're using this, the straight, yeah, that's good. Okay. That was a roller. It's okay. It's easy. I get what you're saying though, because when you're throwing it, you just kind of fling it that way. Yeah, the thing is you want to throw it. You, you, you want to throw the dice, not try to drop it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I've, I've experienced a lot of throwers, even random people, who are throwing with a lot of energy and then they slack off the yep. energy and you can tell it's and it sevens out. There you go. That was good. Ah. Oh. You know, it's interesting too, like uh, now, how do you prevent like bouncy tables or that sort of thing? Well, you, like, you, you, go, you, just... you, you approach the table mm -hmm. and you just listen for that sound. Okay. You know, if it's, if you can't hear much, I don't even bother playing. You know, a lot of things in life, Ronnie, too, I follow by sound. Yeah. Yeah. Insert innuendo <laughs> joke right here. <laughs> okay. Try not to throw them so high. Just try to, try to get it about this high. Okay. That's better. That was better. Oh, That's okay. Man. Keep it away from the hook. Okay. This is your target right here. Okay. So avoid the corner. Just a little bit yeah. more forward. Okay. Yeah. That's what she said. A lot of people, you know, like to play it off the corner. Okay. Oh, well, so many sevens. Okay. Take a little backswing. Oh, that's right. Don't Go be afraid to take it back. It. Yep, that's right. And straight back. Straight back and straight through. Yep. Let your fingers finish pointing down. Okay. Okay. What oh. I'm seeing right now is you're setting them, mm -hmm. you're back here, and then you're going like this. I want you to have them under your nose. Under? Back and through. Through. So come back and through. Okay. All right. So put it right under your. Okay. So like right this. Right there. Look at the target back and through. Back, back, back. No backswing. No back? Oh, go back yeah. and then throw it. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. All right. You'll avoid a lot of those uh, runaways. Good thing you're not my golf coach because you'd be. Oh, you'd I be teach golf be, too. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You'll be, my, <laughs> you'll be my coach for life. You're, you're fucking shit, Alex, but I'll take your money every week. That's okay. A, put it right on. No, no. Put, okay, so, put it right under here. Okay, right here? You set your dice. Okay. Right there. Okay. Then swing it back here and then go. Oh, it's short. Okay. It's okay, but you see how it rolls to the wall. Yep. David, I'm gonna borrow one of the dice tables, put it in my garage real quick. No, no, put it right under here. This is- Right here? Like set this. it right there. There you go. Okay. More better. Two <clears throat> craps two. You go. Okay. I just gotta focus. That was a good rotation there. Now I've seen some of the dudes. I think the one guy, uh, Hawaii crap shooter, the guy's name. Uh huh. Yeah. He, he, he does the fish fish ball thing. You know? Yeah. They. I mean, gosh, there's so many different things you can do out yeah. there. It's just. Okay. That felt that good. Is, that was nice. That, that felt good. Yeah. Nine nine nine. Okay. <clears throat> Feels good, man. Okay, here we go. Set it up. Back and through. There you go. There we go. Okay. All right. Now don't use the gripper. Don't use the gripper? Yeah. Okay. All right. And take it low, back, low, and back through. There you go. There you go. That mm. felt good, too. Wow, hard 10. All right. <clears throat> now, if you're playing Iron Cross, you wouldn't be too happy with the numbers no. I've been rolling, but or, Triple Lux. Or like people that are that 
play the, the, the lay the ten or the four. Lay the ten and the four, dude. I love to lay the tens. Are you kidding me, Ronnie? <laughs> there you go. That felt nice. good. There we go. <clears throat> so you notice they're hitting the back wall. Yep. And they're not flying on. You know, they're not. No, that's good because you saw me at the strap. Boing. Yeah, I know. Boing. That poor guy was chasing. Anthony the dice was chasing off. after the <laughs> dice. Yeah, poor guy. Well, he needed to exercise. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that was short. Oh, that was short. Oh, okay. Lucky. I got lucky. Well, you know, the more okay. you practice, the luckier you get. I think we got maybe like another two or three left, and then we're going to call it the day. All right. Remember, okay, release it. Let it go. There you go. Nice. There we go. A lot of nines. Nine, nine, nine. Dude, love the nines, love the tens. Your thoughts, Ronnie? I love the sixes. And <laughs> This Come one on, felt baby. good. Yeah, <laughs> man. Triple Lux. I'm already at 150, sir. 150 on the nine. All right. Okay. One more. This one and one more. All right, here we go. Oh, eight. Almost okay. a nine. Oh, no. <laughs> no one can complain about an eight. Come on now. Just do it eight more times so you yeah. can get it up there. Okay. All right. That's I like. what she said. Favorite words on Twitch, one more. All right, we're gonna do one more after this. 10, wow, love it. Okay, let's go one more time. <laughs> Final roll for the content. We okay. got rid of that ugly number. Okay. Back and through, swing. There you go. That, that was felt sweet. good. There you go, five, boom. All right, well, Mr. Ronnie, thank you so, mu so much, sir. Appreciate it. It was my pleasure. We're gonna go play some dice soon. <laughs> We've been, we honestly have been so busy on the weekends. Um, but yeah, we're gonna play some dice together at the craps table pretty soon. If you guys are interested in taking Ronnie's class, casinoquest.biz, come down, make a reservation with Ronnie. He's the guy. Anything else you wanna tell the YouTube world? No, I'm looking forward to seeing you all come down and uh, if anything, come and visit uh, Casino Quest and Try your luck on the third roll yep. challenge. Yeah, and we're trying, <laughs> by the way, guys, we're trying to add more dice tables here too. We have a 14 footer and a 12 footer, and we're gonna add more games here soon. All right, guys, thank you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe. Dice setters, please let us know your comments on dice setting, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, bye. Take care.